In this session we will be reviewing the map tools used to complete a coordinate transformation. In this example we are transforming from the Australian map grid MGA zone 56 using the GDA 94 datum to the MGA 56 grid using the new GDA 2020 datum. But the process is the same to transform from other coordinate systems used around the world. For context, this drawing has a civil 3D surface, an image reference, AutoCAD objects, and a civil 3D cargo point showing its position. Pointer coordinates can be displayed by customizing the display here. Selecting the circle shows its centers easting and northing in the properties. The center grip also magnets the pointer showing the coordinates. Change to the planning and analysis workspace to access the map tool ribbon tabs. Go to the Map Setup tab Assign button or use the Map CS Assign command. The list is comprehensive so input MGA to filter the search. Scroll down to MGA 56 referenced to the GTA 94 datum. Note that nothing actually moves. Like changing the units from meters to millimeters or feet, the drawing is measuring the number of units regardless of what they are and each entity is the same number of units apart regardless of the assigned coordinate system. With the coordinate system assigned, the geolocation tab will appear. Turn on the aerial map for a convenient check of your approximate location. Your data has to be within the assigned grid for the aerial map to appear. We'll turn it off for clarity. Create a new drawing and assign the destination coordinate system. We're using the newer 2020 datum but there are three variants to choose from, so which one should you use? In this document from ICSM, they discuss the need for a new datum due to the plate tectonic movement of approximately 1.7 metres north-northeast since the GDA 94 datum was established 26 years before this one. This means that if you have two data sources on the same GDA grid, they could be about 1.7 metres apart if the grids use different datums, so be sure to check this out when creating or receiving data. It notes a seven parameter transformation, a conformal grid, and a conformal grid incorporating localised distortion. These are the three variants listed in Civil 3D, denoted as 7P, C for conformal, and CD for conformal with distortion. This document from Spatial Services in New South Wales describes the different grids and their application for a particular accuracy. If you were wondering what the seven parameters were, there are three shifts in X, Y, Z axes, a rotation about the three axes, and a scale factor. And here's a map of the MGA grids for Australia. This job is down here near Sydney, so we're using zone 56. So when we assign our destination coordinate system, observe the referenced to column, and we'll pick MGA zone 56 using the 2020C conformal datum. This one has an EPSG code that may be common to other data sources, but it isn't available for the 2020CD that includes the localized distortions. Now that we've assigned our destination coordinate system, go to the view tab and open the task pane or use the map W space command. Go to the map explorer tab and we want to attach our source drawing, but it has to be closed to be available. You can right click and browse to this old form, or you can just drag and drop your source drawing into the task pane to attach it. You can also attach other data sources such as these, but we're using the very common DWG format. Right click and create a query. We want everything, so we set the location to all. There are other filters if you want. Change the query mode to draw and then execute the query. The data is imported to the new coordinate system, but note that it is only the AutoCAD objects, the Civil 3D surface and point are not imported. Checking the coordinates of the circle, a coordinate shift has occurred. Go to the Analyze tab to access the Map Tracks command. Use this form to actively display different coordinate systems simultaneously. Recent systems are listed below. We want to compare the 94 datum with the three versions of the 2020 datum. Remove the drawing attachment and fire up the original GDA 94 drawing.
The position of the source data is unchanged. Grab a copy of the circle with known coordinates. Jump over to the 2020 drawing and paste to original coordinates. Note that it is placed in the known coordinates from the source drawing as expected, but this highlights the difference between the two with the dimension between somewhat less than the 1.7 meters, but this value was stated as, a, as approximate. We have observed that the civil 3D elements are not included in the transformation, but we can reload the XREFT background image and it arrives in the correct location with the corner marked with the circle that is north-northeast of the original location.